Right you guys, got another fix it video here for you on how to fix Windows 10 did not start correctly. So as you can see here, we're trying to boot up Windows 10 and uh, it will fail to boot. And this is quite common. So you can see it's attempting to do some repairs here. And uh, what will happen is you will end up uh, getting a blue screen saying uh, it was not successful. As you can see here, could not repair the PC. So what we need to do is boot to our Windows 10 CD or USB tap on the F1, F2, escape or delete or F12 key to get into your BIOS, hit the settings button inside the BIOS, then hit boot, as you can see here, highlighted on the screen. And then inside here, what we're looking for is the boot mode selection here. And you can see legacy plus UEFI. I've set it to that already, but it sometimes is set to UEFI by default. And I like to have legacy on because it makes it a lot easier to boot to devices. Boot option one needs to be your USB flash drive or your CD, depending on what it is. You can see here my USB disk, sand disk, that's my Windows 10. Next, I'm going to go to the advanced button here. These are some uh, added extras. You're just going to click on USB configuration here. We're going to make sure that uh, legacy USB support is enabled. Now, yours may not have this on your motherboard. Click yes here to save those settings and then we can press F10 to save and exit out of here and save those settings for us. And then that will boot to our USB uh, flash drive or our CD depending on what we've selected. Click next and then choose repair your computer. Once we get to choose an option, click on troubleshoot here and then command prompt. Inside here type bcd edit space forward slash enum and this will give us uh, some information you can see here the boot configuration data store could not be opened and that means it's corrupted and that means we need to fix it so what we're going to do is go ahead and try to fix our master boot record in this case so let's repair the master boot record here so we're going to run a bunch of commands in the command prompt the first one is going to be boot rec space forward slash fix mbr this is going to fix the master boot record you can see it's successfully done that. Boot rec space forward slash fix boot. This is going to fix uh, the boot record. Just push enter. Then we're going to make a little backup here. So let's just type uh, BCD. And then we can type here edit. And then space forward slash export. And then space C colon backslash bcd backup and what this is going to do is back up our bcd here so we're just going to go ahead and uh, back this up just to make sure everything is okay so we can always revert back if we have issues with that now we're going to do attrib space c colon backslash boot bcd and then space dash h space dash r space dash s and this is just permissions, so we're just going to do those. Now we can rename our backup, so we would need to use the ren command. So we're going to do ren, which is short for rename, and then space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd, then space bcd dot old, and this is just going to rename that to uh, dot old. And then from there, what we can do here is do boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd and this will start to rebuild it now if it goes wrong we can always revert back so we have a backup of that just in case so let's just go ahead and do that it'll take a while to do its thing here so let it do its thing we're going to press y for yes here so just type in y and then press enter and then that should uh, allow that to go through there we go operation was completely successful we can now exit out of this and we should be okay and now we should try to reboot our system and boot to our computer what it will do is it will take you to this choose an option and you can click on continue to exit and continue to windows 10 and hopefully that will get you to your desktop now if you have suffered other issues and it's not quite fixed your problem then it's maybe related to something else you can try to start up uh, fix but obviously in this case it did not work and we had to do the master boot record fix 
but also uh, you can try system restore as well anyway i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos